Have you ever wondered how to pronounce the word or phrase written below? Have you ever wished you could pronounce it in everyday conversation with much more confidence? Well, today I'm going to help you do just that. So pause the video, record yourself, and then compare it to me at the end. So this pair of words um, came from two different people, but I've grouped them together because they might be really helpful to look at um, as a pair. So how do you pronounce the first word? Well, um, it might actually surprise you, uh, especially the vowel pronunciation. So have a look. We first begin with a w consonant, which is made with both lips coming together to make a small hole, w. Next is the er uh vowel which is a long vowel and the lips are relaxed. Uh, and then the D consonant, which is voiced and uses the tip of the tongue. W, uh, D, word. So let's look at that um, vowel sound. The, um, the er uh vowel is also found in words like bird and third. So here it has an IR spelling in those words. But in the word word, it has an O-R spelling, and these are two of the many different ways to spell that vowel sound. So don't be misguided, don't be misled by the spelling. It's exactly the same vowel sound as bird and third. So with that in mind, look at the pair of words at the bottom. Word and word. They're exactly the same. They are homophones, which means there's no difference between uh, there's, there's no difference in pronunciation between the two. So it's not word and ward with an or vowel with rounded lips, but word and word, exactly the same. So what's the difference between that and the other word we had? Well, all you do is add an L, okay? So before we had w, er, d, but now we have w, er, or, d, w, er, or d world okay and in this case again it has exactly the same vowel sound as word and as bird and third and again here's another pair of words which are exactly the same there's two homophones here world and world exactly the same world have a go at these It's the longest word in the world. The words whirled round in my head. It seems the whole world could hear the whirring. So I hope that was helpful for you. And if you have a word or phrase which you're really struggling with in everyday conversation, maybe you're avoiding using it altogether, then leave a comment below and it may be in the next video for you. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the word of the day and I'll see you in the next video.